prison and the courthouse. Live travel updates every five minutes on SF News. Just keep us right where we are. Let's get that beer. Ha <laughs> ha! First round's on me. Driver San Francisco is the continuation of the Driver series, picking up where Driver 3 left off. However, this time, there's been a lot of changing when it comes to gameplay mechanics to try to bring the series back to its roots. From now on, you can no longer exit the car, and there are zero on-foot sequences. However, this does leave you with some great street racing action. The driving mechanics are a bit loose, but overall the driving's a lot of fun. But there are some mechanics and story elements that are just plain weird and do not fit the game series franchise mythos at all. So I'm going to have to give away some minor spoilers, however this all happens within the first 15 minutes of the game, and if you've played the demo you should already know a bit about this. In the game you will have the ability to shift out of your body and take over okay. someone else's. Just are you confused yet? Car. Well, I won't spoil too much, but near the start of the game, you're involved in a pretty bad car accident, and it takes off from there. The storyline is not bad, and neither are the mechanics. However, it just does not fit the tone of the franchise. The story has a lot of greatly rendered scenes with breathtaking visuals and fantastic voice acting. It's just very, very odd if you've played the last two games in the series, which were serious crime games. Granted, the driving and the humor of the game is fantastic, and the cars drive pretty well. And I have to admit, the chases and all the car driving sequences look really stylish with epic stunts and epic takedowns. And they're almost lifted right out of great Hollywood chase sequences with a great retro score that reminded me of Dirty Harry mixed with Bullet. The car mechanics may be a little loose here and there, taking sharp turns can be hard at times, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad and it gives the game a very stylish look. Honestly, I am really conflicted here with this game. The game is fun and has an interesting storyline, but it is also not the follow-up I have been waiting for, and the storyline's big twist will either work for some or piss others off to no end. This is one of the few games that really tested me and I had to think, a long time about this review. The driving is fast-paced, frenetic, and fun with the great retro soundtrack, reminding me of some of my favorite chase films, and the storyline has its moments of sheer fun and hilarity, and the driving is a blast even if the controls are slightly loose. Overall, Driver San Francisco is a fun game. It may not be a fit for the franchise, but fans of driving games will most likely enjoy this frenetic racing game. A 4 out of 5. Thank you for watching my review please head over to my website, www.therealifegamer.com, for more reviews, written articles, and interviews. Damn. 40 out of 30 on the move to assist officers under fire from a goddamn news chopper.